Jesus, so man. basically locked me in a car, put me on, on a plane to go live with my dad. And the, he picked me up from like, like um, what's the airport in New York? I forget what it's called. JFK? Yeah, JFK, yeah. yeah. And then we'd just be driving from there. I'd be like, what is going on with my life? I'm only like 14 or something. Yo, this has taken yeah. a, a, a fast <laughs> turn to the right. I was expecting this but conversation. No one knew. <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, as central as you need to be. Could be wannabe, it should be. Facts. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, everybody that's got a television app, you know it, it's big things on the way. Unquestionable the number one place for street culture, free download, Android, iPhone, and all the other platforms that you, you frequent with. Lave German inside the place. We have a gentleman that comes back for the noughties and then some, and uh, without question, bringing it back like Next day, <laughs> disappeared, reappeared, here he is. PA, Slob, 147, how are you? What's happening? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't do you justice, does that intro, really? Listen, you know? I, I'm not one for big intros. Yeah, me. yeah. Yeah, I was kind of, kind of a bit worried about that. But I just, obviously, I'm not, I don't class myself as any sort of legend or nothing like that, so... Do you know what I mean? If anyone, like, I've watched some podcasts on here that I thought, oh, my days, like, that's, I can't believe that's so-and-so, like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. And I only, only started really listening to these, like, recently, do you know what I mean? So, Are you finding them? Yeah, like, really getting into them, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like them, yeah. Obviously, a few, few of my pals have been on them, like, Sipa. He, yeah. yeah, he smashed it. I can't believe he's, he's blowing up. Yeah, big up Sipa like, all day. Yeah, other people like that. But obviously, if anyone's new to these podcasts, don't, don't like, if you don't like my one, just... Do you know what I mean? Get Watch a few more, yeah. <laughs> No such thing on the Killer Keller podcast. It, yeah. I think Sipa did mention you in the did in the really? podcast, or at least before his, mm. his thing was, oh, you've got to get a slob on it, you got to get a slob. <laughs> you know what I mean? Also yeah, the DHS boys and all those guys as well, you know? Yeah, they picked me up, yeah. Right, they're, they're, they're all right, yeah, decent lads yeah, yeah, yeah. from around the way. Yeah, that's I mean. right, so, that's yeah. right. Um, contender, I think, is the, the word I would use. Um, because legend is, you know, that's uh, that's um, subjective. Mm. I I would go so far as to say that what you're bringing to the game right now, compared to what you did back in the day, mm. our back in the day, is for sure like it's it's, it's run peg- level pegging with a lot of the contemporaries that are out there, right? like Sum, Enigma, mm. Hold Tight Ling. You mm. know what I mean? Like th- there's a lot of new new energy coming in there. Yeah, definitely. Like I'm well, I'm trying. Do you know what I mean? It's not every day that like you don't always you're not always happy with what you you do, but do you know what I'm saying? Just go again and and yeah, man. Just like obviously, I don't know, bro. Just just try and mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> just try and <laughs> yeah. But you've, you you come up with some better. different techniques though. You know, like yeah. I, I like seeing that it's like the paint and everything yeah. is just a, a move from where you'd been painting before. Isn't yeah. It? Well, obviously, I've, like I've had a lot of kind of like people give me little tips here and there, which I'm like, I'm grateful for. Do you know what I mean? Like with yeah. so, like I remember when I first started, like uh, Dems showed me how to do the like the background misting and stuff like well, that. Whole type Dems, yeah. I thought, oh my days, like that just makes it pop off the wall. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like proper. Well, when you do it, kind of like spray. You, know, you work your yeah. way in, so you start with a darker one, and you just work your way back into yeah, the yeah, corners yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. If you look at my pieces, that's sort of what I do a lot of the time. Yeah, well, um, yeah, for real. And also, I like the the, the kind of back spray effect where you mm. got the where you get the can and you like off spray it from the, the outside of the piece. Mm. That does the jump as well. Like if you have got mm. neon green and you kind of just spray yeah, it lightly on the back. Yeah, few people like I've I tried doing working with some neon stuff like like last year and that, but it didn't really work out very well. But <laughs> I think maybe I just need to like just get the knack of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, everything's yeah. just having that, that right knack of of. of Knowing what you're doing, but it's, <laughs> it's true. It's just practice, isn't it? I think. Can it, it all sometimes gets a bit tron, doesn't it? If yeah. <laughs> with too much neon, you know. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I think you just add it in here and there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. A little yeah. bit here and there. Um, mm. Tell me your story. Let's get into it because, like you say, for those that are unaware of the activities that go down in Landing Tan, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're definitely up there and out there. So tell me the stories, Trying. man. Like, where did it begin? Well, it, like obviously for me, like. I'm, I just remember like kind of getting on the train into Central like with with my mum. Like, I'm talking like when I'm 
sort of nine, ten years old and, and looking out the window and her saying, like, we used to live in that tower block over there, like, um, going through, like, Clapham Junks and looking over towards, like, Battersea and all that. And, uh, and she's trying to show me, like, where we lived and I'm just looking at the graph. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm just looking at all the boxes and all that and I'm just thinking, like, oh, how, are they getting, how are they doing that? It just seemed like, honestly, it just seemed like next levels. And and then walking into London, I just, I've still got it clear in my head. I don't know what bridge it was, but I remember just walking across into London from Waterloo and just seeing some, some like, on the bridge, big vamp, like, chrome dub, and I just remember, like, thinking, oh, my days. There's not one person... Yeah. If you're from South, there's not one person yeah. that does not connect with that when you yeah. see a vamp dub just, like, they're hanging from yeah, somewhere. Trust me, yeah, and it was... Yeah, and it just stuck in my head, and then, um, like, I'm, I'm talking, like, probably before even, like, leaving, like, primary school, like, before... Talking when I'm like, like nine, ten years old, sort of sketching. Do you know what I mean? Just oh, so how old were you then? Like young, 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 young. Do you know what I mean? So, so, Mad. so basically, I don't know where I used to get paint from. Like, f- firstly, like I was, I was, I was a bad, like I was a sh- like proper shoplifting all mm. like every day, kind of thing when I was that age, and I'd be out there um, just getting whatever tins I could, <laughs> and I would, um, yeah, just bop around my area. I didn't really know anyone that painted at at that time. Do you know what I'm saying? And so I how just, would you intuitively know that that was the route to... I don't know, bro. Your... Like, honestly, because I, 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 I used to just go out there, like I say, just shoplifting and that. And then, and then when I see that there was tins and that, I just, I just, I don't know where it come from, really. I remember just, I had some, like, bubble style. I used to write Rasta in a bubble style. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know where, but... Um, Mandatory few, bubble style as yeah, well. Yeah. And I had a few little tags and I do little outlines here mm. and there. And I just bumped into this little gang of lads, like, um, and they were like, kind of, because I was in, they was in that same little area. They were like, like trying to find out who I am. And then when I when I they see that I had paint with me, they're like, "What do you write? What do you write?" Mm. <laughs> I told them, and they're like, "Oh, I see you up here, I see you up there." I was like, "All right." And then um, started kind of rolling with them, and they um, they was they, I remember them saying to me, "What's your number?" And I'm like, "I read out my house my house phone number." <laughs> <laughs> no, they all started oh, creasing up. It, man, and I'm yeah. like, no, it's not. They're going like your graph number because everyone around my way had a number. Like, and um, yeah, so they were like, yeah, you can have 147. And I'm like, yeah, all right, sweet. And so I used to just kind of bomb that <laughs> more than like, I used to change my tag a little, like a couple of different tags, but I'd always have 147. There'd always be 147 with it. And um, I know you mentioned like there's a crew around here, 147. Yeah. I was like, What's that? Because like, <laughs> I don't really know. Like I don't. You're not no I've first, only, yeah. I've only people talk to me about like people's history and all that, and I just don't know, bro. I've always I've just been in my own world for a long time. You know what I mean? It does sound to me like yeah. from an early age you were quite the lone wolf. It didn't. Is that... Yeah, yeah. I've always I've always kind of bounced from one area to another and um, rolled with different different people and stuff like that. So um, went to different schools in different areas. Obviously, like. Um, but yeah, just just it was mainly bombing really, like mm. on the buses and on the trains. And like when I found out about like paint pens, and then you could like empty the paint out and fill it with like shoe dye, and just juice it right up and just and just yeah, them stainers were just, they were staying there. Do you know what I mean? And we used to just bomb. I used to try and find spots where I could bomb like on sometimes on the floor or like uh, get these little silver chrome markers mm-hmm. and just get the tiniest little reach just in the window where it just wouldn't get buffed. And I, and before you know it, I'm getting on buses. And, I'm, and my, my tags are still there, but everyone else has been buffed. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. and I'm like yes. And then, um, and then the Scratcher Stones, when I found out about them, that, that was just a, that, oh, I just to love them. That's another but, technique that, yeah. I, you know, I've never come across. I mean, why yeah. would I, you know, understand? Yeah. Um, but it's a very, it was very much a thing mm-hmm. at a certain time, wasn't yeah, it? Big like, time, because you can't buff a window that's been like etched into. So it's like... You, you you kind of you get, you get different ones. There's one like a little Christmas tree. There was one another like square one. Really? Yeah, yeah. You get a whole pack of them. They're, Stop I think they're for, it. Like, sharpening knives or something. Stop it. So they really so, exist. These were real things. Yeah, yeah. You could go and get them from the hardware shop now. So um, well, cook a cat. So basically, you hold it sideways and you just like the way I do my dubs now. When you see my straight dubs that are like more more just straight, that's yeah. the way I used to do my my scratches. You know what I mean? And, and just and just get it right in there thick. And there's still some now. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like I'll go past the bus stop or something like that, and I see it, see a big one four seven or a big slope, and I'm, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I'm fucking still standing. Right? That is mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy. So, um, so yeah, I used to, I used to love all that, bro. Like I used to love, love just seeing, seeing myself up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck everyone else, but I just see myself up and like and, an endorphin hit when you see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still the same now. Yeah. And then obviously, um, I don't know really. I went like went to like secondary school. And but you gotta understand, around my way, everyone had a tag. Everyone graphed at that mm. at that point. Mm. 
it was mad. Like every everyone did. Like a lot of people obviously don't anymore, mm. but like um, yeah, everyone did, man. And, and it was like I'd want to start now getting up on the track sides. So I would like uh, talking in hindsight, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, of course. So I would um, yeah, I'd kind of, I was too young to really like just go out. So I would. Like, I used to have just police at my house all the time. Yeah. So I, my mum would, like, my mum brought me up, so she kind of just tried to just, um, you know, like, ground you, set, set some sort of bound, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, discipline, yeah. but it just didn't work for me. Like, I would just I would just jump out the window or or get out there and just go, just go out. But I knew if I come back, I'd be in trouble. So I would just go up to Central on the trains or night buses. So I was an alcoholic from about, probably about 12 years old, something like that. So... I would just go around just, just nicking Stellas, um, you know, whatever Cronenberg, like beers. Mm. I used to sell all the, the wines and the champagnes and stuff like that. But I'd go just, in, I'd just I, I could just carry on for days. I'd be on night buses and I'd just wake up somewhere like in like, I don't know, Penge or somewhere and just be like, where the fuck? I'm, like, and I swear on it. You can do it, yeah. It's your podcast, so, brother. <laughs> you go. So, um, or like I remember like waking up on a bus in Hounslow and just being like, oh, what am I doing? Like, I've been on this bus. Yeah. Back and forth from like yeah. Tolworth to Hounslow, like 20, like three, well, not 20, but like three times. And I keep just passing out when I'm so drunk, mm. but <clears throat> it, it weren't, it weren't good. Like, it obviously, I, I hear people's stories and that talking about the past. Like, from, the past for me was carnage, mm. and it was, it was a very sad time. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm. Like, for a long time, I was, I was, it was horrible to be fair, like, but it was all of my own making. Mm. Do you understand? Like, I came from like, um, like a loving family, yeah. but. It, it, it was all like I would cause my, my own trouble. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why that is, but something just switched in my head. And I think a lot of graphers obviously have got that thing where they want to get out there and they want to yeah. they want to do this and that. They want to be. It's almost like the last. You only live off like the last thing that you've done. Do you know what I mean? So if you've done something, yeah. like if you ain't done nothing in a while, you just you just you're dead. Yeah, exactly. You're so in the war. so yeah, I'd just be out there. I remember hiding it, hiding it, my first track side, hiding in the bush, <laughs> up on the tracks. Yeah. Like thinking that people can see me, but they de- they definitely couldn't because you know, I'm in the dark. <laughs> and then um, you know I wait for all them people and that because I was right by the platform. I remember them all waiting, like waiting for them all to go get on that train and I will start. <laughs> and then the next one pull up and I was like, ah oh, shit, got to duck down again. And then I'd finish it off. And then um, you know the more it's the same way it's happened around this time. So the more you're painting, the more people you sort of you get to know and all that. And I went to school with um. I don't know if you know Durs. Yeah. Durs? Yeah, yeah, of and, course. Like, and his brother, yeah, younger yeah. brother, Izor, was yeah. fucking sick. Like, How like, do you spell Izor? I-S-O-R. Nice. Or I think sometimes he used to do it with an E at the end, but... Yeah, I'll have to... Cl- but, I mean, no, I know, bro. Like, they, sick, had their, yeah? they had their own website. They had, like, like oh, uh, I would have underground graffiti yeah. or something. Like, I can't remember, but... Like they were the ones that that, that took me onto onto tracks like a few with a few of us to do like a like a proper like right. But I won't say what station. But mind your business, whoever you out there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, and just and then they and then I remember going and meeting them. Take they them going to a, a legal spot and I was just watching the way that they they just do their their first lines and they do the the fill and everything's crossing over and a bit a bit wild style mm. and all that. Um, and I just remember just 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 taking it all in, man. Just thinking like, oh, like you know, like this is this is sick. So um, yeah, kind of kind of went from there and just 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 carried on. But it was like I say, more bombing track sides, like just chrome dubs. Mm. Um, everyone was at it. But to be fair, we was we was mostly just like it was, I think it was the, probably the drink that, that drove us because we'd just be on the trains every day going out of the area. We'd hit hit whatever wherever we could get paint. Mm. And where we could get alcohol and then come back and then or not even come back, just go to the next place, next place, next place. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And and that's I think a lot of people's stories what from what I've heard on here. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? From from my sort of era mm. era, it's um yeah, just just madness, just like just just cracking on like every day. This um, yeah, let's just circling back to the alcohol thing and the mm. racking um shoplifting of, of that nature, because it is a it is a perpetual thing. People and there isn't yeah. a lot of history people talk about. It's on the podcast. It, of course, we actually, used to call it raising, not racking. I, I, uh, I just call it raising. So we go like there'd be there'd be a few of us would go brew raising to brew was alcohol, mm. and um, and then we just go just go out there. But it, it was like I, I got kind of kind of good at it. I, I just used to have this um, this big Adidas jacket, and it was like reversible. So I had like inside pockets. Outside pockets. Oh shit! I'd like, I'd like 
sleeves so I could fit like, I don't know, maybe like three jumbo Stella bottles or, or like three like big underbody seals or like whatever up each sleeve. Balls off a few more, like, you know what I mean? He was in a like, hoodie like this with just a couple more in there. And I don't know how we used to get away with it because if you see a bunch of like 15, 14, 15 year olds all rolling in with like baseball caps, <laughs> hoodied up, you know, yeah. yeah, like not hoodied up, but like, but, but like hats and what we, the kind of stuff we used to wear, we used to stand out a mile. Like, we always to wear like these like Looney Tunes socks mm-hmm. that would like roll up over your tracksuits. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And like, I don't know how, like, the, the kind of thing we used to wear. Like, yeah, that is so naughty, isn't it? Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah, yeah. the other day, like, it, the, the, the fashion as well was crazy. Like, uh-huh. yeah, I had these like Adidas poppers mm. and um, all had like Nicholson or Hackett uh, polo shirts and like these Batman, the yeah. denim Batman jackets and, yeah, yeah. and just all, all, all kinds of shit. Like, um, yeah, what, on some wavy garm shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, like I see, yeah, wavy garms. Yeah, so I see, um, see a few people like uh, getting like these vintage clothes and that. And I'm yeah. like, oh, that's what we used to wear. Yeah, big up sport banger as well. You know what I mean? Hold yeah. tight, wavy garms and so, all um, them. And uh, yeah, and, like, the trainers. I, f- I thought about it last night. I was like, we all used to like get like socks and I like, fold them over and put them under our tongue in the mm. trainer. Mm. So that the, I don't know why we all did that, but like, <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was kind of. Kind of weird, but um, just off just off record, I have noticed that a lot of trends do do circle back around. Yeah, and a lot yeah, of them all yeah. about the socks, like yeah. the, whether it's the pin-ups that you used to mm. get back in the fucking uh, late eighties, early nineties mm. to even now when you see those trousers where people have got their fucking yeah. showing their socks. Like pretty, yeah. I've never understood that shit. I know, but yeah, that's what apparently that's what happens with fashion. It just sort of comes back keeps on going around, doesn't it? But I don't know where that came from or what, but um, but yeah, you could always tell. People could always sort of tell from what area I was from because where all, the way I wore my hat. Really? <laughs> so I used to go to like, a, like I say, a different area, and they say, "Oh yeah, you think you're bad because you're from Thingy," and like because I have my hat like that. Dude, yeah, I know yeah, that. Yeah. I know the look exactly. Yeah. The look you're talking about, or like, or like the way you're wearing it back. Yeah, yeah back a bit, like yeah, either back. Which like that. no, no dog documentary. The no dog film is. The, the, yeah, well, he's from my area. Exactly, well, kind of. He's, yeah. he's from like we. Used to, it's yeah. all up and a bit to the side. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah that's exactly it. So, so yeah, yeah, the people could tell, and like obviously, I'm going into different areas and and. and, and yeah, I don't know why, but my area always seems to have beef with everyone. Like even when I went out of jail and that was a, as a youngster, like mm. it was like. People like we just sort of I don't know why just like, just have beef with everyone like I know what you mean that. I think the cult the, uh, because it's, obviously Justin's been on Justin mm. on his whole tight and also yeah, DHS yeah, and him. Yeah. but he's a it's and Sipa actually alluded to it as well it's yeah. it's quite a rough oh trust me yeah go, you know route to get into graph and that isn't it yeah yeah so Sipa and that um, I was thinking the other day like where's where's this like like my my kind of oh, I don't know it's hard I think. Because Sipa and that was all like into like the everyone had like so, someone's garage or someone's shed where mm. everyone would go. There'd be decks and mm. we'd all be drinking. Like I didn't do any drugs back then. Mm-hmm. I was kind of anti drugs, but I would just sit there because um, I grew up around a lot of like, heroin addicts. So I just uh. sit sit there and um, and like, I just remember like you know uh, I put up like slobber D sometimes, mm-hmm. and that's where like <laughs> yeah yeah. So that's, <laughs> that's and I'm not great. Even, the thing is I'm not even, even into like drum and bass. Kind of thing, yeah, but yeah, yeah. that's kind of where that came from. Yeah yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, I can't remember. I've sort of gone off, off off topic a bit. But the beef was like oh, it, was, it was constant, man. And that's like kind of why these days I think when I think about graphing again, I think is it going to drag me back to that old? Because it, oh, it's was, a horrible way of thinking. I was isn't beefing it? so all harsh, the time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like all the time and with everyone. Yeah. Like um, and it, it, well, getting and dishing it out yourself. Like you no, was, I was like, people just was just quite on a calm me, character, like, on, man. On, people were just on me. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't I just, imagine you being. I must have just stood out. I've always had that. People just people just wanted to, to trouble with me. Really? I don't know why, but obviously at first I didn't really know what I was about. But as I got older, I kind of got a bit more confident, and um, it went on a bit of a bit of a rampage for for a little for well for a long time. Really? Um, what kind of rampage yeah. is that? Just, just with like you know, when you've got them lists in your head of people that have like wronged you, and in the gra- <laughs> in the graph game, it's so easy to to have that because you know all someone's got to do is like line you out because you're you're in their area, hmm. or 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 like or do something, and it's just like you want to kill them. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How was it? What's and the it's, emotion it's, behind it's that? It's a sick kind of like you don't want to be like that. Man. It'll make you ill. Do you know what I mean? Over time, just being of that mind frame. So it was just yeah, it was just just constant beef all the time. We'll see. Um, um, we, let's, we, we obviously don't want to uh, relay any names. No, but how no. long was the list? Like, if you were to on oh, a, it was long, but, really, just yeah. like, uh, but uh, not really. It was more just like if I see when you bump into someone, 
Mm. Um, you know, but um, yeah, it's, silly. It's a shit, point, shit time in my life. Do you know what I mean? So it's mm. not really, not really that worth really going into too tough. But mm. it's um, but yeah, kind of, kind of try to keep dry, drawing away from that because mm. I kept going to jail and I was only like 15, 16. Do you know How what I mean? How many times you go to jail? Three, three, four, three, three, four times. Really? Like, um, under the all under the age of eighteen. Was on, on just on a remand. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, my last sentence came out about five years ago. Um, I was looking at it longer than what I'd done. They give me time served just because they dropped they dropped the charges down a little bit. Right. Um, but it's all just around like violence and that. Yeah, yeah. So it was. Um, Are you triggered? Does that the things trigger you? Well, I must have done it at the time, but yeah. like, like I say, the drink don't help. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, it just like kind of half of my family are uh, American. Hmm. So I, I can't, my mum didn't know how to handle me. She trying to try to palm me off to my dad. And he was British. No, American. Okay, so, so he was American. So basically, locked me in a car, put me on on a plane to go live with my dad, and the, he picked me up from like like um, what's the airport in New York? I forget what it's called. JFK. Yeah, JFK. Yeah. yeah. And then we'd just be driving from there. I'd be like, what is going on with my life? I'm only like 14 or something. Yo, this is taking yeah. a, a, a fast turn to the right. I was expecting this but conversation. No one knew. No one knew because I just literally got locked in the car. And at the time, I was I was out there every day. Everyone's seen me. Everyone, oh, you know, like, uh, what's Lob done last last night? Or What, in New York? No, like at the time in, in England. Right, 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 so right. like I say, police come in all the time and just, just carnage all the time. So it was like I put my, my family through hell, right. like badly. So... Um, you know, like I, I just, I just remember getting locked in this car, put on a plane, picked up from JFK, and just being, and just driving and thinking, what's going on in my life? Like it's fucked. Like, but kind of at, at the same time, like kind of, phew, do you know what I mean? I'm out of there. Yeah. I can just, just maybe just, like trying to just embrace the, like whatever's going on now. So just to be clear, your mum is English and your dad's American. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so when you get to, yeah. yeah so, fucking lucky. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but I always knew that I couldn't stay out there because I knew. The kind of way I was going on, I'm going to get birded off badly mm -hmm. out there. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? In England, it's a whole different beast. In England, you're all right. You can kind of rock, like the jails are all right. Kind of you just you just chill, really. Go gym mm -hmm. or, or whatever. So, right. so when I'm out there, I'm, I'm driving down like the the highways or whatever you call them out there, and it's um interstates, mm -hmm. and um yeah, the roadsides out there, bro. <laughs> oh. Mad. Yeah, well, I, uh, I know. And the, road, yeah. and the train tracks run alongside the roadway. I know, it's train. beautiful. So you're seeing the trains going past with pieces yeah. on. Yeah. Like, big top, to, like, everything, just like, and the freights and the, yeah, and, yeah, the yeah. and the roadsides. And I'm thinking, from going from England, oh, seeing all the stuff over here, to then seeing the stuff over there, and I'm like, oh, shit. Do you know what I mean? Who are the names that are sticking out in New York at the time? Don't ask me that. Come it's, on, son. It's too far back for me to really? remember. I can't Not remember. Not J.A. or anyone like that? Nothing? No, somebody... Cope? No, nah, people have obviously mentioned different people and, and uh, like I'm looking into it now because yeah. I was very just in my own head thinking about me all the time. Yeah, yeah, before. yeah, yeah. So it wasn't, I wasn't a culture really, thing. Like, I wasn't really rating anyone. I'm not really no. someone to just be like, just like, like rating people and, and all that. There was a couple over in England, but not like I wasn't like um, only a few people. Do you know mm. what I mean? That I really would, would would really think, yeah, they're sick. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I would really think about it. But um, I just do my own thing. So then I'm only, Oh, I'm over there and I just like, oh, I wasn't in New York City. This is what you got to understand. I was, I was upstate New York yeah, yeah, in, like, yeah. the, in the mountains. Yeah, the, yeah, there yeah. nothing to do. And I just was just like my head. I'm very restless person. So, um, and uh, yeah, I just I couldn't hack it no more. I tried to just run off. What's you, where, where, yeah, where'd so you run to? I've got my little bike and I got like, I nicked a couple of tins out of my, my dad's garage and I just, and I got his hunting knife and I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to head towards the city and I'm just going to, like, to do my own thing. Oh, <laughs> I was 14 years old. No, Michael J. Um, Fox eat your heart out, I man. No, but it, it didn't happen, man. He fucking caught me just as I was going out the door and he grips me up and he just launched me across the garage, man. <gasps> he, as as he, yeah, he, see, see, he knew that I had the knife. I think that's why he come looking for me because he, he couldn't find a knife. He come grab oh. me. Launched me across the gap. Like my dad, my dad's a strong man. Like he, he um, yeah, he put the fear of God into me. To be really? Fair. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of like, yeah. That's and I. Uh, so from there, I kind of like I just started. Uh, just I was disheartened, man. And I, I could have, I could have made a guy of it out there. I really could. Yeah, but you were yeah, fourteen, just, isn't it? I, know, I, know. Like I could have gone to school out there. I could have been, been anything. Does that have regret? Anything. Yeah, massive regret yeah. for me. It's all fear based, I think, because I just would just didn't know where I was at. I'm so used to being in London yeah. and have everything on my doorstep, yeah. so just not knowing where I'm at and just yeah, it was it was long, man. Is your is your pop still alive now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you so could go I'm over there whenever you want, now. Yeah, yeah. That's cold. That's yeah, but like I went on five holidays the year before um, lockdown, and I never painted once. <laughs> I went <laughs> painting there. I'm fuming, bro. Oh, like, so you I went out I'll, there? You went out there and I went there, uh, California. 
I drove from California, where did I drive from? Palm Springs to um, San Francisco, just on my own. Just drove, uh, went and met my auntie in Lake Tahoe and just like, yeah, flying about and, and yeah, just, just, yeah, that's freedom, man. So that's where I'm at now. I'm, like, I'm free now. I can do whatever I want. I'm not like full wow. of that fear. So, so, um, so yeah, I kind of like just begged my mum to let me come back. And I had all these good intentions of just making a go of things and having like, you know, doing doing as best I could. I was like, I was really, do you know, full of remorse and that for how I'd, how I'd been as a, as a youngster. And um, I come back and it was just like, I remember thinking, no, I'm not going to graph. I'm not going to drink. Like, I'm just going to, but it was ticking away in my head. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. even on the plane back, I knew I was coming back or getting like... And then graph comes with yeah, that. And yeah, I know. And I just remember just, just linking a couple of a couple of my old school pals I, I still paint with now mm. and um, and going on a brew raise. It was like 11 o'clock on a Tuesday morning and I remember sitting at this platform and I was like Clapham or somewhere yeah. and just thinking, nah, man, I'm back in it again. It's like smoking again. It's like drinking again. But before I knew it, I was, I was banged up like for the first time. And... Um, yeah, just that just went on like a cycle for time and just just was just like I say, like my twenties was fucked. Like proper like ended up going from someone who like done well money wise and, and you know, had had a few things and and um yeah, doing quite well to and like to just completely just like busted and broken, like basically just like you know, just staying at different women's houses and like sleeping in my car sometimes. Mm. I had my dog with me. My dog was with me through thick and thin, like like I had, I had a red nose pit. Um, mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I had him. He was. It, it kind of just like got to a point where I was just I was I just ended up back in jail again. I, I think I was about twenty nine now, and um, and but this time looking at like a long sentence. And um, I thought, I've got, got to change my life, man. Mm. Got to change my life. And um, had that just that, that that kind of thing inside where I just was like broken, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And just willing to accept a bit of help. Mm. Whereas before, you'd have people come and see you in the cells or whatever, and they say, oh, do you want to help like, with this and that, or, like alcohol, drugs? I'm like, no. But I just couldn't, I just couldn't, I couldn't have a drink without going on like a five day bender. That's the truth of it. Yeah. And just going insane. And the, the violence that comes along with that as well. Um, I think a lot of people can relate with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so, sure. So, yeah, I mean, I tried. So, so yeah, I kind of just made, like, an effort to just change my life. And the last five years, I've tried, to, I've worked myself big time. You know, I've gone from living in a car or whatever, like I say, <clears throat> to, like, I, I, I bought my own flat last year. Do you know what I mean? Congratulations. Yeah. Like, I fucking um, started so a business. Sick. Do you know what I mean? Legit business. And, and um, I've just sold that business Have like, you? this week. Yeah. Sorry. Come on, come <laughs> on. Yes. And um, and and, and, then, and then gone. You know, the graphs come back in. My dog died. So this is how I got back into graph. Yeah. So um, my dog passed away. I had to get him put down. He was just like he went enjoying life and red nose um, pit. Still red nose. Yeah, pit, red yeah. nose pit. Yeah, my boy Luch. Luch. Um, just in peace, Luch. Yeah, yeah. I was big into like into like uh, D block and, and like come on yeah sheep boots <laughs> and fucking um, yeah he was he, I had to get him put down man and it broke my heart mm. um, and I, and I ha- had these tins that I'd just randomly gone into the shop on my lunch break at work and just seen tins like big Molotov chrome 600 mm. mil yeah wow. and I'd bought them and it remembered me from back in the day because sorry to jump back and forth no but, good Do so, it. so back in the day how, how it all went from the bombing to dubs to then, um, you know, some of the youth clubs was asking me to do like commission, like mm. the pieces in there. So I would go and buy a paint. I'm talking about I'm about 15. I'd go and buy a paint from the paint shops, yeah, yeah. and um, I wouldn't do this now, but uh, but they would like write me out receipts for like a couple hundred quid, mm-hmm. and the, these people would reimburse me, and I'd keep all the paint that was left. So I'd go and spend like 40 quid, yeah, 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 about, earn about 150 quid, boom, and um, yeah, but. <laughs> To be fair, I was running a lot of fake scores as well at the time. Uh-huh. So it was like, it was, it was like, I was just, I would just make money out of nothing at, at the time. Mm-hmm. But the paint, as well as racking it, people was buying paint off me. Other graphers that couldn't couldn't get paint, that couldn't go, couldn't well, go, you had an industry, couldn't but go out <laughs> raising. I would, I, like my whole bedroom was full of paint mm-hmm. and, and alcohol and that. And um, so that's how I got kind of into that side of it, just doing the commission started and all that. Um, and then yeah, and then so I remember just. Getting on the train. This is when, because I hear a lot of people talking about buying paint as mm. as as opposed to racking it, mm-hmm. raising it. Mm. So, the shop opened in Croydon. Someone showed me about the Sir, 
FD, yeah, so, FD, time. FDC. Yeah, sir, man, my guy. Yeah, so um, I don't think I actually ever met him, but I went up to the shop and used to buy oh, these city spots. I don't know, it was in it the was, market, in the inside market. Oh, in Brixton? No. It was, no, no, Croydon. Be, yeah, this I did also, go to the Brixton one yeah, as well. still City HQ spot, I think. I think so, cool, yeah. yeah. And we used to buy the mixtapes from the little market store across yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets like some mad hoodies. I'd never been there, but I, you know, I, know, I know the stories. And I think yeah. that's, I think that's the one when the talk. tram, I think, was first built. Mm, yeah, okay. It's a tram line. So we'd go up there, and um, that's when I first started buying paint, really. And, when, and that changed the game with the chromes. Because the chromes were like, with the fat caps and that. So it went from me going into like Halfords or wherever, just trying to get like a, a, a chrome that would like like be because yeah. I used to get like aluminium, like all types, of, and it wouldn't come out nice. So when I got these chromes, I was I was like, it changed the the trackside game. Yeah. For the dubs. Yeah. Like you could bomb with them, but it would just look kind of messy, really. But it was like, and the under like, so I would still stick with the underbody seals, the um, wax seals or whatever, because mm -hmm. they just they just would just stick, stick to the wall. Yeah. 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 And I still get them now. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I use yeah. them for, 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 for stuff like that hasn't been mulched. Really? So, yeah, and they come out crisp, but they've got the, the female nibs rather than... Um, We're going to talk male. after this. This is good. Yeah, yeah. Good intel, man. So a, yeah, so that that kind of... I do that because as you, if you try and just use a loop on a chrome, it's just fatal. It does shit, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it just goes a little bit sepia kind of looking. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's when I first started buying paint. But anyway, so to jump back forward again... Mm. So I would um, where was that? I can't. Remember. So you'd get the you'd get the paint from All City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to, to, to jump back forward again, so when I started painting mm. again, mm. Um, I always thought I'm gonna I'm gonna go and do a dub because I'd bought these 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 tins in this shop just because I'd seen them and I hadn't seen them in so long and all these memories started oh flooding back. Oh my god! Yeah. And I've bought them and um, they sat in my cupboard for like two years and I just was like, oh, one day I'm gonna. Two years. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, one day I'm going to go and do a dub. Was there a comfort knowing that there was just paint in the house and you could do it, and it's all yeah, quite nice? Kind to... of, but like I say, that, <laughs> the whole that whole lifestyle, I'd removed myself from big time. So yeah. it was kind of, it's like keeping something in the back in your back pocket just in case things go wrong. You can flip back to that other way yeah, of yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? And it's not really, it's not very healthy. But I basically, um, so my dog died, and and I was like, I'm going to go do a dub for my dog, man. Like, I'll go do a looch dub, and it, and I just went down there. Uh, to like one of the, the oldest um, legal spots what I knew because there was quite a few back in the day. I went looking for them and they were gone. So you had the snake pit, snake pit in South Wimbledon <clears throat> where we used to go. You had the waterworks over something way. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I remember. I've, some I've big spots. I was never into the legal stuff, but mm. I remember going once or twice. I kind of knew where they were. Mm. And they were all gone. So I was like, Good. yeah, so I just like I jumped on Instagram because I was doing, I started a personal training business. Um, just a sort of lockdown here, mm -hmm. and I jumped on there and I was like, I see uh, pain. Um, yeah, whole type CB, pain. Yeah, yeah. Like DT and all that. So, all them boys. And he was like, um, he was doing getting people to send him sketches. He was like, stay home, do pain sketches. <laughs> and I was like, all right. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'll just message him. I was like, where do you, where do you got does his thingy like the Feltham spot still there? He was like, yeah, it's still there. That Unigate spot. No, they got that one as well, but um, there's a, an outside one, um, I think called 40s. I need to get down there, man. I went there the stuff. other day, um, and I went and done a big chrome loot stub. Oh, I saw on your stories. Was that was, there you were? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice spot around there, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely, yeah. yeah. Jano, uh, there's loads of RIP Jano pieces at the minute, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not really, like, there's not loads of space. I wouldn't take out someone. No, 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 so, um, so, yeah, um, it's, uh, went down there, done that, but I've just got the taste for it again, man. And then my, my, one of my good mates' mum died of COVID, and I went and done done a um, an RIP Shirley piece. And my other mate was murdered. He got dragged up the road um, by a car for like, oh, for like no. about a mile. Yeah. Oh no! Um, like, like Sorry to hear that. Path, yeah. So I went and done a path um, RIP. And I didn't really know about bringing Slob back. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like that old that old person I tried to leave behind. Mm. Um, but that that was my tag. So you know what I mean? So I just I just started doing that again. And um yeah, I've always just been one for like big chunky dubs. Yeah. Um, but the more I sort of met people and um, you know, sort of all these legal spots and you can buy a paint and like these these different colours and that, I was like, I'm gonna try my hand at a few pieces. Mm. So yeah, just done them, um, done a few pieces and just like the can control comes back. Not that I've really had great can control, and I still haven't now. 
That's why I go big. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I get the, you. Can't notice all the defects. It's interesting, it's, um, just to kind of yeah. pause for a second, because big up Faye, because, yeah. you know, we, we do study you guys' stuff, and it's like, yeah. just to hear, to hear the humbling words of, I, you know, I haven't got the great can control. Yeah. But, like, when you see it, I mean, I think that gives value to anybody that mm. sees, you know, great work, mm. and the kind of, internal mm. disputes you have in your head about what's great and what's yeah. not, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can do all cutbacks and all stuff like that, but I think the more you mess with it, the more you're just going just, to just gonna mess it up, man. Too clean, it gets too... Yeah, too... so I'm someone who doesn't really like... I try not to hesitate too much or overthink nothing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If something feels right, mm. I'll do it. And so I basically go to the wall. I don't sketch because my hand's busted. Um... And like I've tried doing people's sketches and I just can't hold the pen. What, just from fighting? Just from, yeah, just like falling off fucking roofs and like I split my finger off then. He's showing me off, um, all wounds. Jumping off a roof once when I was doing a, doing a dub. I used to be big on rooftops. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. And, Talk to me uh, about that. What's the, how does that feel when you're... Oh, banging. Loved really? It, like, yeah. I had this one spot <laughs> around my way in the, that we used to drink in this park and the top of the, it was, I think it was Budgeons, at the top of the flats above Budgeons, I got up there <clears throat> and it was with these little Christmas tin, tins. Yeah, you know, I know chrome, the ones. With the little silver tins. Yeah, yeah. But I'd done a peak, I'd done a dub up there. You could see it for miles. And then, yeah, a couple of other ones. Um, that was quite, a, I do love a, like a rooftop. Don't um, try this at home. It's dangerous. Not it for is you. Dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. But yeah. for me, I try not to do nothing that's going to get buffed. Mm. And I try not to do nothing that's going to really get too reported. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's all right in these kind of up London, like you know, more central. But if ever you go out, you're gonna get you're gonna get nicked. Well, you're just gonna it's so more exposed, so in it? Because yeah. there's not so much going on. And so if I was to see somewhere with tags that have been there for a while, I mm. think well, I'll whack a dub there. Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. After a while, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and and on that very same night, I mean, we're talking in retrospect here. But what I will say though, because you've talked a lot about dubs and silvers and chromes, mm. like your color. Is that the new thing? Like you've not you've done colour, you know, yeah, full colours burners. Is, colours is, is new to right, me since okay. like these times. I remember the slob. I remember the slob mm. dub. Mm. Like, but like you say, I've never. Mm. It's only now when I think back in the recesses, mm. I'm like, yeah, actually, there was never a, the colours. No, no, I never really. Do you know what I mean? It was just like didn't really, never even attempted it. Like back in the day. How's that feel to be? I mean, it's it's great for us, but how's it feel to be like hitting like wall with with it's right. like, it's, mindset? It's nice because you can. Um, you know, you can sort of like people are asking me on inst like Instagram for like um to like, like teach them and that, and I just think, well, I ain't really saying I can. I probably could. I, I will do. I will try and help people mm -hmm. if, if I can. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But um, it's really just practice, like and seeing what works. Mm -hmm. You know, the colours and that. Obviously, if you're gonna do a fade, you just get a few different shades of a different colour. Yeah. Just go up or down. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. and um, just work on just fading it. Do you know what I mean? But there's, you know, I, I used to do like kind of different colours and different corners and and fade them into each other mm. uh, i used to like doing that mm. well I do, I do like this i'm talking like this time around i do that quite a bit um obviously if you, for me if i just got a bag of scraps i'll just whack a pink dot on it and just miss the whole thing and that normally comes out better than anything yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i've yeah, got some of them ones. Yeah, yeah if you have a look there's there's a few of them that just really do just pop off but just a merge of different what, colors and shit i've yeah, seen that yeah yeah, but yeah. what my what i will say to anyone like is what i always say is just do a, a white or a black outline don't keep doing the color outline yeah yeah you can't yeah. see it you can't yeah. see like my boys a few of my boys do it and it's just like yeah it's nice feel but you can't read what you don't pop off it's not clear why is that why do people because do that because people want to do like a color outline, outline and it's yeah. like for me it's like you could do either do a, a dark feel and do it out white outline it's gonna yeah. pop or you're gonna do a, a light outline with a with a black that's a, that's a uh, sorry a white a, a light infill with a black outline yeah, yeah, is what yeah. i normally do yeah you know, that's just me. You want it to bust that's, out, that's don't me. you? So yeah, so me, I want it to be readable. Mm. Yeah, I don't like adding all little bits coming off. I would like to be able to do arrows and stuff like that, but I just don't do it because it looks for me. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want it to be readable, big and bold, have a little nice, you know what I mean, style to it. But um, I've got a few different styles. I've got a couple like chunky dub styles. What I would do on mm. what I would do on like a track, track side or a roof or, or something like that. Back in the day, of course. Uh, yeah, back in the day, and then. Um, and then I've got, um, you know, I can do different pieces where I can sort of, yeah, you've got a bit more time and you can put a bit more detail into mm. it. Because I must nice. say, like, you've definitely got different styles. Like, mm. some people have the same stamp, 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 yeah. which is cool. But but I love bubble style. Yeah, you know? yeah, I noticed. And I couldn't I couldn't really get the hang of it. I went with, um, I went painting with, with Spat once and I said, oh, yeah, as we're walking spat. out of the spot, 
I was saying, let's whack a bubble style over there, like a big chrome bubble style. And I had done mine first, and then he done his, and I like, Oh, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Like, he's on. It's, um, he's it's always just, on. Yeah, but even with something so simple, you can make it look good. Yeah, that's right. Right, and, and make um, it classic as well. It never ages. Yeah, yeah. And I just think you just got to get your. Another thing he taught me was just just find your sort of lines. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And 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 like it's hard to explain, but I just I see people adding little bits on when they ain't got their block of their yeah, 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 outline yeah. even sorted. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said to people. Like um. Just get that straight first, like, yeah. like just get that right first, and then and then you can add your little style on. Yeah. And the more you progress with that, you know what I mean. Like the the placement of the letters, like the angles, like cause other people talk uh, said something about um, like because I don't sketch, but mm. they was I was like, how do you get it looking like symmetrical? So you got the first letter looking like an angled like that, and then the next one, the, mm. sorry, the last one, it kind of angled the same way. And I was like, oh, you've got to use um sketching paper. Uh, Trace and like, mm. fold it over. Mm. I was like, "Raw, oh, that's a good idea." But yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit long for me. I don't like I said, I don't sketch. I just go to the wall, and I'll probably spend about five minutes just staring at the wall, thinking, "What outline is going to look good there?" Yo, that's yeah. Mad. And I just sort of kind of visualize it, and this um, that's what I done at uh, Crystal Palace the other day, um, and it kind of only had a small sp space mm. to do mine because I wanted us all on the same wall, mm. and um, yeah, come out, come out right. Like, come out nice. So Mate, I was happy with that one. That's mad that you don't sketch yeah. yet. Like, your stuff is so I symmetric. I can't sketch, right. man. The only the time I should sketch was in jail. And it's, um, you know, and that's why I have got, like, some more wild style outlines that I've done from years. Mm. But not, um, I've only ever sketched them. And I need to work more on them. Do you know what I mean? Kind of, mm. yeah, I do. But, like... I reckon you look <clears> sick. Your piece of look sick on a map. Do you know what oh, I mean? People have asked me this. I can't, man. It's just too. I'm too too busy. Like I don't. I got work. I'm a flat out of work. Come home. I go gym, and then if I've got time, I'll I'll go painting. Do you know what I mean? Like, and it's probably painting like once or twice a week. But it's, uh, sketching, it's too much, man. If I start, I'll just be there all night. You're a, you're a success story. Yeah. I feel like in the terms of like how your life's gone yeah. from one extreme to the other, and like you say, you've got, you know, you've got a regimented life now that you, yeah, you keep yeah. a discipline. I need that, man. I need discipline. I need um, yeah, that militant sort of um, way of living, man. Because like if I'm just left to my own devices, like over Christmas, I went working. I'll just fucking you end up going off on a depressed, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. fucking yeah. I was painting a lot, but I say painting painting is like a like a quick. Quick fix, like a like a like a quick buzz. You know what I mean? Mm. It's not it's not like you need peace of mind. You need like mm. to have your, your shit like sorted first. It'll come out in your in your pieces. Otherwise, mm. if you ain't if you ain't um, you know what I mean? Like I always say, like people's pieces, you can kind of like tell their personality. Mm. You know, when it's just like so messy and just like mad details <laughs> and just. So much going on, you think, fuck me, imagine being in their head. <laughs> get, get it together, man, get it together. <laughs> yeah, and then you've got other people that are just so clean and they just don't, they don't do, and I just think, yeah, that guy's at peace. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Can I throw, uh, can I throw a subject out it. there? Because, I mean, yeah. this is a total footnote and you, yeah. you may stop me halfway through and say, what are you on about me? But yeah. I had this theory the other day because there's someone that's progressed and has gone into this world and you use, you use graffiti to um, apply a level, like you say, mm. just a, a peace of mind. It's some, some, something you're contributing, getting away mm. from the laptop or the gym. It's like you're mm. there painting and doing mm. your thing. I watched this... Um, there's this program in the UK. If you're not mm. from the UK, you won't have a clue about it. But it's like a fugitive-based program where celebrities mm. go on the run. Yeah, I know two people that was on that. Right. Two friends that was on that. Yeah. Right, right. And I think Lisa Matthews on it. Like, yeah. big up Lisa. Like, and they just go and do their thing. Yeah. And you know, I guess it's an exercise in mm. the, the authorities showing how easily you can be caught, kind of thing. Mm. And I just thought about it. Like these these characters, they go onto this program and then mm -hmm. they successfully win. They mm. win a prize. Da, 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 da. And I thought that was quite a challenging idea that mm. for people to like graph writers mm. that go go the distance, take the risks, mm. do exactly what they've pretty much done on the show, yeah. but uh, end up going to jail mm. or you know not or getting so many uh, problems later on in life because they mm. didn't do what they could have done with the graph mm. thing. Um, it's very few, fair, few and far between that people get to that point mm. where you are, and and I and I kind of thought to myself, man, if you know the, the authorities have these graph writers mm. that are challenging the uh, security of the country they'd mm. at least like 
do what they do on the TV show. Yeah. And, and, and at the end, if they don't get caught, they win a scholarship to an art place. That's what happens, isn't it? A lot of, that's like that Catch Me If You Can. Is it Catch Me If You Can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he was like a fraud star. Um, do you get what I'm saying, And he working for the feds. But no, um, yeah, I see saying? what you mean. It's, 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 but to be honest, brother, if you're, I think a lot of people are under pressure these days to do that side of the graph. Just because they think they're not a real grapher if they're not doing like the naughtier side of things, yeah. and I just I just think you're just you're just asking to get nicked, bro. You don't know what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do you know what I, mean? I wouldn't recommend it really unless you know what you're doing. That, mm. that sort of stuff. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And and you might have a, like a short career. Do you know what I mean? In the, in the graph, don't do nothing too hot, really. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's just try not. To, it depends. It, it depends what you want. Like, do you know what I mean? I've seen even people come on here, and then like. They're just gone, not to be heard of, like, like not from doing this, but I'm saying, like, because their egos get boosted so much that they think they're untouchable. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're out there just doing bait things and, and they're just, yeah, they're pretty much gone now. <laughs> it's interesting you say that <laughs> because, um, that. yeah, that you don't have to be mm. top of the mountain like that. No one's going to be these days. You know what no. I mean? Like, you're not talking about the 90s anymore. No. You know, you're talking about, like, with the world we live in is on top. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're yeah. going to get, you're going to, Unless you like jail, do you know what I mean? Some people like jail. Totally, you know I mean? yeah. So maybe that's just the mental place that yeah, they like. And maybe that's that like boosts their their street cred. But mm. listen, I don't do nothing for no one else. Mm. Yeah, I've got a nice. I've got. A, I'm, I like my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. life's pretty good yeah, when you're yeah, when you're so free. Like, so like people will ask me to go out and do stuff, and I, a lot of the time, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, and like, and I'm gonna, and then I'm like. Do you know what, boys? Like, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> and I'll sit back in my nice flat on my nice sofa with my nice cup of tea or, or whatever, just watch a bit of Netflix, and I'll just I'll be like, listen, I've just I've just had a touch because I'm not now that, done that yeah. bait thing. What is is going to get me like looking over my shoulder, or you know, anyone coming to my to my house? Don't feel good, don't it? Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't be like that, man. I can't live with. With like look like any sort of uh, thing niggling in my head, mm. yeah. If I don't, just don't do it in the first place, if you're gonna be, if you can't handle that feeling, do you know what I mean? Yo, um, that's a touch. And why are you doing it anyway? Just so some fucking impress some graver. I like, can't. I don't, even... I'm not trying to impress no graphers. Bro, like, and listen, respect to everybody that does their thing without question. But I, we're in a 5G world. <laughs> Shit's funny. about to get real. Like, you don't think you're tracked? Everyone's tracked. Mm. The whole fucking thing's tracked. Yeah. It, and it, if you aren't at the moment, it'll happen in the next six months yeah. to two years, I swear. Yeah, exactly. It's all, it's all like, even, even just doing this really is like, I was umming and iron about doing it because it's not... But I ain't fucking... I'm not doing nothing too, too late, you know what I mean? So, yeah, exactly. So I'm hopefully... I'll just try and give back a little bit. Like, graph's given me a lot. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, in the, it gave me a new lease of life in a way. Mm. Um it linked me back up with so many people that I hadn't seen for years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've um, I've got people around me now who are like some of my, some like I cast them as like some of some of my good pals. If the pixelation like, doesn't do any justice, right? He's lit up right now. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he loves this. I shit. do, yeah, because you can see like talking about the past gets me down. Yeah, it does. But then when I think about right now, the things we're doing, like the productions we're doing, yeah, the people I'm rolling with are actually like sound. Mm. Like they like, do you know what I mean? Like they, I've got good people around me now mm. um, who like we do give a fuck. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not just like. Um, some crew where we don't know people. Mm. Yeah, there's people that are just like supporting. Like you see some of the comments I get, I just it blows me away. Yeah, like it does. And when people like, um, you know, when I meet people and, and all that, like some of the people I've met, I just it, it, it all just like it, it does. But it blows me away, man. And like you know, there's all different sides of of this graffiti thing. Like where people have gone into other things. Like um, I've got to, like use this time to kind of like big up what. Like my little crew are doing, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Because there's, there's a lot of, there's, Telling you. there's all sorts yeah. going on. Yes, it's, like, yeah. Honestly, it's just, it, you know, I, I, I mainly focus on my main day job, but there's, you know, we've got like a lot more than that going on with like the graph. So it's, there's still there's a lot of digital stuff going on with the NFTs and Come stuff on, like that. Come on, man. I don't really get it. <laughs> Yo. Personally, I'm not really, I don't really understand it too, oh, too, I love too that much. Shit but, so much. But some of my boys are, are on that stuff. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, they, and you know, there's, 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 there's that side of it. There's the logo designing stuff. Yeah, like all digital, all that digital stuff. There's the flipping, um, like any sort of like merchandise. Obviously, you've got the PA crew, paint addicts. Yeah, yeah. That just come out of um, just you know finishing doing a piece, 
them thinking about the next one straight away and like who's who's painting next week and who's do what will it, what spot I don't know what next? you're talking about and it's just <laughs> it's just an addiction man it's like he's literally a, an addiction yeah, where yeah. I've got, kind of got to know a bit about addiction I can tell that this is an addiction yeah yeah, yeah I think. So it's like what are we doing and yeah then, and then obviously like Styles P and all that he's like I had some tune he was like prolific yeah. animals and I was like Whoa, prolific animals <laughs> I was like yes Whoa. that's another you know like, and I just and I was like yeah that's sick sick so yeah we just kind of you know like a few other crews that I was in all kind of broke up and it was like what do we do um, so we Re- put that together re up innit you know, yeah yeah thing. put that together just with people that I paint with I pe- paint with these people like regularly like their sound they're not going to like try and like be like like do nothing dodgy and it's like um, so we got that side we got the commissions like some of my some of my pals in, in PA they're doing some some portraits some like some of these commission stuff it blows me out I don't know how they do it well I do know how they do it um, but incredibly talented man so like so anything that needs doing any sort of printing side of things that that's all good to go you can print, print anything You've got all of that set up there that's, you're inspiring man all, I'm like that's yeah. all there and ready and waiting do yeah. you know what I mean like yeah. it, it just the paint that it's crew uh, Instagram yeah you what, hear that anything that wants stickers yeah anything even like we was going to start making our own pens stainers with like refillable ones with like you know, just like the actual labels, yeah. anything you want, kind of thing. That that kind of side of things. Yeah, Yo, you're creating a business um, right here. Well, yeah. If like I've just got to just yeah, just just, just get on with it. And um, what other stuff? So obviously, just hit. I just think like if you hit the graph from all different angles, it's a win. Yeah, yeah. You can definitely do well. Do you know what I mean? Just like yeah, there's there's been um, there's plenty of space, yeah. like to to, to to do what you want to do, man. Just, just go and do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't think about it. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Oh, flipping off. Um, but yeah, just um, yeah, loving life right now, man. Gonna go paint later. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, Damn right. So see what paint I've got left for my Black Friday deals. <laughs> um, and and yeah, that's that's about it really. Just keep cracking on. Um, yeah, meeting new people like some of the jams as well. Mm. Met up with some nice people. I like, had some nice jams up Shoreditch Way. Mm. Never knew about Shoreditch or mm. League Street. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I never knew yeah, about it. You know? and, yeah, we, I, I mean that's I a whole other world. I remember coming up there and just just like I'm just like wow, where mm. <laughs> like, graph everywhere. I'm like this is like paradise. I love that. I love that you come in yeah. on that entry of like. Yeah, I didn't have a is, clue. Yeah. Honestly, you know, I'm <laughs> bopping around. <laughs> see, like, and I'm bopping the around. Vandal life, and there's see. girls that paint. And there's like, and we had like tunes going, yeah. and there's like, like you've got a big up um, FDZ, man. They just yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they're nice for a party. Yeah, like, big we up went, FDZ. Um, yeah, we went. It was that uh, Force's birthday the other day. We had another, another big jam in Hackney. Man, I missed that. Big yeah. up my boy Force, man. Yeah, yeah. Come so on. I met some, met, met a few of, a uh, few, few of you a lot down there. Yeah, yeah. Big up uh, Fabe, Ram. Yeah, yeah. All met them lot. To um, you. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, yeah. There's, it, I like them kind of days. They're good mm. days. Yeah, just um, lazy kind of yeah, paint days. Yeah, just, they're just, they're just part, like, I like the parties and then, and then uh, yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to mention as well. Like, so you've got all of that kind of side of it, the piecing, the, 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 you know, the other bits and bobs you might do. But for me, what I love to do is like, it's, it's like urban exploring, I guess it's called, mm-hmm. like abandoned spots. Where they're like, and mate, and I hear no, yeah, no one talking about this. No, this is yeah, go on. And you got to get into it. It's just fucking. It's, it's lovely. Like the the places you find, yeah, and you go into, and it's just like it, you feel like it should be haunted or something. It's just like everything's untouched and just like old old. Um, you know, there's old like leisure centres and and like oh mate, there's so many. Uh, we done like um do you do this you british do the- airways training facility S- like with pl- planes in there and all that what i'll send you the pictures you can put them on the, on the okay thing. right hold on one second because this <laughs> like, is definitely in the dna of a graph writer so i don't post nothing like this but you do this you I go out i don't post nothing that's no. illegal or try not to yeah no no i try not to do anything illegal as well um but touch wood um, you explore you go to places but there's places yeah that like um there, there's and once you start talking to the, these urban explorers and that and they, they send you these spots <laughs> i love it honestly it's so Mate. sick it's so sick old factories and old like um oh, warehouses and a lot of the times they have security as well <laughs> and they just you just kind of make they have it security so you have to try and duck them and it's like it's you know, it's like being in a computer game like it's I think crazy. that's the coolest shit I've heard yeah, all it, week it man is, that's is. fire cuz like you're not going to get like badly nicked 
if, if no, you're no. caught doing it really no. but it's, it's still like yeah, there's no incitement it there's no intention yeah, to it. you're yeah, just there yeah, looking yeah, yeah. yeah so you might have security like doing like the rounds mm. <coughs> in their cars and some of them have dogs um some of them you know like oh mate there's some mansions you can do and there's just there's there's all sorts brother and i love that honestly i love it but not a lot of people are really into it because a lot of people these days just want to do spots where their piece is going to get seen so like I'll say to to people like let's go and paint this place like it looks sick and I'll show them pictures mm. and they'll be like yeah yeah we'll go and then we always just end up going like <laughs> I don't know like Hackney or somewhere do you know what I mean it's just been been yeah, battered yeah. do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean but and for just, safekeeping it's good I'm, to do I'm, yeah I'm all for like linking up with people going and painting and doing a nice piece but I do like to do spots that are different yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I like to do spots that like um yeah it ain't like just the, the everyday thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you saying about a painted trellis, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, like, I'll come and do it. But it's like, it's kind of just, it's not, it don't excite me like that. No, no, no. It don't, it don't, it don't. So it's, um, you want some like rarity, some rarity. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why I can't, I don't understand these people that are just like, at Leak Street every night. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't I, get it. It's but, too quick around there. Oh. I think a lot of Hall of Fame's, they, they tend to be real t quick turnarounds, don't they? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So, um, and those rare ones could be there nice forever. Ones. Yeah, yeah. So I do some nice, there's some nice, um, like Hall of Frames or whatever you call them, yeah. So, but it's just a, there's a. I like to do a bit of everything. Mm. You know what I mean? Not mm. just that. Mm. You know what I mean? So, it's, um, you should start up an agency for music videos. Like, find yeah, the plots, definitely. negotiate with the security people. Yeah, because, you know, there's no. And I'm just saying this like as an artist. Days later, yeah. Like all these places. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. Yeah, crazy. Like that's what my old man said to me years ago because I used to take pictures. With him, but just, he got me a camera like years ago. Mm. And I used to take pictures of when we was out graphing. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, I lost it. Um, uh, I had a, a flat with a landlord, just removed all my stuff and just lost everything. But I had pictures of us going and doing like, like all sorts of track sides, boxes, like um, just bopping around, doing our thing. But my dad said to me, like, I remember him, he was like, you need to be a location scout. Totally. Because I, I grew up near, um, like Ted and not to grew up, but the school went to over that, that way. It's Ted and Studios, mm -hmm. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Shepherd and Studios that's as right. well. And that's all like just up the road. So he was like, you need to go and like knock on their door and say, listen, like mm. look at these places. Mm. That, like I've got pictures of like old where there was a, there was another, uh, not legal, but it's like an abandoned warehouse in Kew. I think it was called Grundy or something. That was another mm. massive one. Um, there was another one in Wandsworth across the river. Um, just some of these locations, the general public just wouldn't know about. No, that's this, right. And this, um, you feel special knowing it too, don't you? Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. Definitely. So it's, um, yeah, there's a whole there's a whole world out there. I, I love to I love hearing the your podcasts about people that did all the like the proper London underground tunnels. Because the, the, the world just, is mad. Yeah, yeah, I love all that. I, like I, I didn't really do a lot a lot of that just because no one really brought me in no. um, to that. Like I would have done. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. if I, I'd have been up for it, but we've done all that. But um, it just sounds just mental. All them tunnels underground. Yeah. I'd love to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My granddad well, yeah. worked on the London underground for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like nights and that. Um, so, wow, I mean, now I'm thinking about. I mean, that's a real opportunity you could be touching on there. Like, oh, you could definitely, isn't it? And there's there's some great photographers about who get some good footage and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm about to do some hashtagging mm. and see what mm. it's about because mm. sometimes I do the you know big up everyone that's checking out the grit school uh, walk tours that I'm doing now. But mm. I end up walking for ages and ages. It's me doing it, mm. but I love it because mm. you find yourself in places. That, mm. I mean, you know good will and nothing too heavy mm. but you're just like yeah this is amazing like mm. i didn't even know this was only only someone that was into graph would be here yeah yeah. do you know do you ever get that feeling That's it's like it. well there's more to this but, than just the paint but some of my pals they don't graph they just do the exploring yeah, exactly yeah and they're not even the people you'd expect to do it but I, they honestly they send me some some spots but a lot of them are quite far mm. but they go in the night to a lot of these spots and they go um yeah they go exploring down like like uh shafts and like uh old mines and like you, you go down into these mines and there's, there's just filled up with old tents where people what? dunk rows and and it's like uh, oh mate they're constantly at it and it's just like it's incredible man i, I do love all that i do love all that but, um, oh, my mind is it's having the time man it's having the time yeah. plus i like to i like my sleep i don't like to be out, out too late these days yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, i come back from birmingham last i got my birmingham crew and yeah, i'm knackered man that. But we got things to do. Yeah, Let's yeah. get out and then get it. Cop yeah, DM. Definitely. Yeah. I hope your first day's gonna go good too. Ladies and gentlemen, slob inside the place. Pick yeah, up nice yourself, one. my brother. Sweet for that, bro. That worked out good, didn't it? Nice one.
Big shout to everyone who's joined us every week. You know what it is. Sharing is caring. All right? And in the meantime, see you next time. Do not sleep on this. Sharing is caring. I repeat, do not sleep on my repeat. We are like animals out of fashion. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Just love. <laughs> Christy. Peace.